but I've never actually done this before. So let's see how it goes. How hard can it be, right? Famous last words. Come on. about autumn and October coming up and the harvesting and the seasons changing and all that that means and and the sort of metaphors that can be drawn around uh, midlife, retirement, and autumn and harvest and, and that sort of thing. So bear with me while I get a little, you know, sentimental and everything. Okay. Today I'm gonna to try something different. I don't normally do videos like this, but I have been wanting to. And so I'm gonna give it a shot today. And I say give it a shot because there is gonna be some construction going on just outside of our apartment. I think we're in week three now, which has made recording videos really challenging. Um, so far today, they're a little bit quiet, and so I'm just gonna go with it. What I'm going to be doing today is making salsa verde, which is uh, green salsa for those of you who don't know. And I'm doing that because I have recently harvested um, tomatillos from the garden that I started slash inherited um, earlier this summer. It's part of a community garden where I get, you know, one plot, one allotment. And the person who had it before me, unfortunately, had to leave the area very suddenly. So I inherited much of what was planted there. And I'm now starting to um, reap the rewards of that. And that includes tomatillos. I have never grown tomatillos before. I've never actually cooked with tomatillos before. I have only enjoyed them in, in various salsas. So um, I thought I would just take you along for the ride and have a little chat about some things along the way. Come on. Just as a garden comes alive with the fruits of months of careful tending, midlife is a season where we can celebrate the experiences we've cultivated relationships, skills, and personal growth. It's a time to enjoy life's bounty, recognizing that the hard work has led to a sense of fulfillment. Yet just as the garden continues to cycle through seasons, midlife is full of potential for new planting, growth, and discovery, reminding us that even as we harvest, the soil remains fertile for fresh beginnings. Oh man, look at that. That's bogus. Ah, it's awful. Luckily, ooh, where am I? Luckily, I have a backup. That's awful. Three, we like a lot of garlic in this house. I think that's right. I'm more of a, less of a science cooker and more of an art cooker. Oh God, need to leave room for the tomatillos. Jiminy crickets. Almost forgot the star of the show. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, tomatillos, whoops, here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? They're tiny and they're mighty. So, okay, so now they go in the broiler. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at that. Broil on, hi. It seems awfully close, and it's more than four inches, so, okay. Hot broiler. Anyway, we have a tiny little apartment, but we have, it's at like about 800 square feet. Um, two bedrooms, one bath, living room, kitchen, and sort of an eating area. Just this eating area here, that's it. I don't know if I would call that a dining room, but you know. Anyway, this place is a little bit in disarray because like I said, the uh, with the construction going on and we have to move things around a lot and, and whatnot. So we're doing the best we can do. Let's take a peek. 
take it out and flip it. Flip it and reverse it. Yes, Missy, I know, Missy. You were in a gravy, be rolling in it. Then I'm butchering your song. Okay, safety first. Boy, I sure am not a cooking YouTuber, am I? <laughs> when you've handled peppers, I don't care how little you handled them or how gentle you think these peppers are. Wash your hands before you stick your fingers in your mouth or in your in your eyes, especially. Whew, I've made that mistake before. I said, oh, I can handle it. Ooh, the jalapenos are getting cooked. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn these. Here we go. Ooh, oh, we got one bubbling. Look at all that, it looks so good. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. That is deliciousness. Now, if you've done this before, you may be saying, wait, wait, it's not done. But I don't know that yet, so I'm gonna go ahead Like a well-tended garden that continues to produce season after season, Midlife offers opportunities for continued growth, new projects, and the sharing of hard-earned wisdom. It's a time to savor the sweet taste of accomplishment while looking forward to planting new seeds for future seasons. Just as autumn's vibrant colors signal a shift from the intensity of summer to a quieter, more peaceful time, Midlife invites a similar transition this season of life, like autumn's changing leaves, is a time of transformation and beauty, where we can appreciate the full spectrum of our experiences. Okay, I think it's time to take this stuff out. Oh, look at that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. I, sorry about that, I wish that you could smell this goodness, oh my. Instructions, this is the rickbayless.com website. It says, cool until handleable. Okay, everything's cooling. And I'm thinking, you know what? Don't we all just need to cool off a little bit after we've uh, been through the broiler, so to speak? Some time to rest and cool off until we're okay. An okay temperature to handle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think about that relationship wise, we, we grow in sweetness and depth when we're, when we're put through the ringer, when we're going through challenges and, you know, in the broiler, so to speak. And, uh, which, which is all good as long as you have the time to rest and recover before someone tries to engage with you again. <laughs> I don't know. This is the English major in me. I'm like trying to draw all kinds of metaphors and you know parallels between the cooking and, and life. But it's kind of fun. I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. Some people think it's too much, just get on with it. Just cook the damn salsa. Yes, I will, I will, I'll come back to it. Let's wait, let's breathe. I need to breathe too, I need some water or something that's hot. Simple, simple, simple minds. I guess we'll take it one. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I was not supposed to put in the cilantro. I jumped the gun on that, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, after this is somewhat blended, I'm then gonna chop up the onion and add it to it, but do I blend it after that? Yeah, the onion comes in after, okay. Well, I'm getting nervous. I'm actually, can you see me? Oh, you can't even see me. I'm getting really nervous. Okay, pulse. Okay, this is gonna get noisy. Ready? Hold on, here we go. Okay, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, that is spicy. It's gonna make me sneeze. 
Um, let me do some cleanup here. Um, I am going to rinse this actually. Thanks for bearing with me here, you guys. Cause you know what? This is not a cooking channel. I'm well aware of that. I am well aware of that. And thank you for indulging me on this. Um, I know everybody's got their way of slicing onions. I actually have a whole book. Hold on. I'm going to get it for you. I'm not following these rules, but it's informing what I'm doing anyway. There's this book called How to Slice an Onion, Cooking Basics and Beyond by, look at this name, Bunny Crumbpacker. Hysterical. I highly suggest the book. It reads like a novel. Um, it does tell you how to properly slice an onion, which I'm not really doing right now, but I'm actually doing my version of it and it's close enough. Let's just, Julia Child, I am not. Chris Robinson, I am. Quickly, but not carelessly. No, I think, I think this is a stir moment. You know, first, let's unplug. You're like, unplug it, unplug it first. Yes, I got it. Okay, I'm, this, is, this is allowed to suck because it's my first time. Just like your first YouTube videos. <laughs> They're allowed to suck because you're learning. That's what we do here on YouTube. We learn from each other. Okay, let's see. Do I need more onions? What do you think? What do you think? Look, can you see that? Oh, where are you? There you are. <gasps> doesn't that look glorious? Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. If it, even if it doesn't taste good, it's just gorgeous. Okay, now, before hubby comes home from his haircut, test this out. Put a little bit of salt. Be kind to yourself. Use the fun bowls. Although I'm not going to have all of this, but there we go. Isn't that prettier? Isn't that better? Okay. What do you think? Well, you can't really see it, damn it. Let's, okay. Let's try this. Ready? I'm gonna just start with a little bit from the heat. <laughs> Ooh. That is f***ing spicy. It's <laughs> so spicy, you guys. Oh, I think my husband's gonna like that. His name's Dan, by the way. I keep calling him my husband. Man has a name. It's Dan. I would call that successful. I'm so happy with myself. God, that's gorgeous. I can handle heat. That's hot. I just wanted to show you. This is how hot it is. Oh my god, look at that, you guys. Perfecto. Muy bien. Mas. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make some more. Oh.